it's so great to see you again today and I'm so ready for this lesson. I think we should warm up by getting up out of our chair, off the couch and doing some exercises, okay? All right, let's start with five jumping jacks. Go! One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now do three spins. Woo, whoa, you spun a little bit too much. Whoa! Okay, now let's jump up and down like a bunny rabbit 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right, get a sip of water. Let's sit down. And are you ready? Let's go. Okay, to review today, before we go over our success criteria, we're going to go over the symbols that you would see in an addition or subtraction equation, and we're going to practice them really fast. Okay? Let's first go over all of the symbols. What symbol is this? You're right, this is a plus sign. So when we practice this later, I want you to make a plus sign with your hands, like this. Okay. What symbol is this? Yes, this is the equal sign. Equal means the same. So when we make the equal sign, we're gonna make it like this. What symbol is this? Yes, this is the minus sign. That means take away. So you're going to minus, you're going to go like this. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to show me the signs with your hands. I'm going to go really fast, okay? All right, plus sign, equal sign, plus sign, minus sign, equal sign, plus sign, minus sign, equal sign. Plus sign. Wow, you guys did a really good job. Okay, let's go over our success criteria. Today, our success criteria is I can represent subtraction by acting out problems using words or expressions. So we're working on subtraction today, which means taking away. And we're gonna work really hard on um, word expressions using equations. Well, let's say it together. I can represent subtraction by acting out problems using words or expressions. Awesome, let's now get some materials and practice. We're gonna practice our success criteria by working on some subtraction problems using expressions and we're gonna solve them by drawing pictures. I think that's the easiest and best way to solve the problem. So to do that, we are going to um, need a whiteboard or, or some paper and a marker and pencil and an eraser. Okay, so let's start with a subtraction problem. I'll give you a little word problem. We're gonna write it in an equation and then we're gonna solve it. All right, let's begin. I have seven puppy dogs and four of the puppy dogs run away. So I'm gonna take away four. Seven minus four equals. Now we're gonna solve the subtraction problem um, by using a picture. And, so we're gonna start first with seven circles. And we're gonna count that we have seven circles by putting a little dot, which I like to call a jelly donut hole in each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now we're gonna take away four. We're gonna subtract four, so we're gonna cross out four. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna circle what's left in a force field. Let's count what's in our force field. One, two, three. We have three left. All right, let's do another one together. I have eight cookies. I eat two of my cookies, so I'm taking them away. So minus two, take away two, equals, hmm, let's so solve it. So we're gonna start with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's make sure we have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna take away two. One, two. Now we're gonna do a force field of everything that's left. Force field. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six left. Eight minus two equals six. Great job. Let's do one more together. I have nine frogs. Six frogs jump off the log. How many frogs are left? So let's start with nine circles. They're easy and quick to draw. There's nine. 
Now I'm gonna take away six. Oops, I almost forgot to double check that I have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Phew, good. Now take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's force field. Let's count what's in our force field. One, two, three. Nine minus six equals three. Great job. Now it's your turn to practice. Can you do it? Let's go. All right, friends, now it's your turn. We're going to write equations based off some num subtraction sentences. Remember to add the minus sign and your equal sign. We're taking away. Five minus four equals. Now draw a picture and solve it. Write your equation. The answer is one, you're right, great job. Six minus three equals. All right, let's solve it. Draw a picture and write the equation. What's the answer? Three, six minus three equals three. Nine minus one equals. Draw a picture, write the equation, let's solve. The answer is eight. Great job. You did it, I'm so proud of you. Wow, we did such a good job at meeting our success criteria today. We were representing subtraction with using equations and expressions and drawing those pictures to help us solve. You did it. Let's celebrate by doing hmm, the truck driver cheer. One of my favorites. All right, let's get into our truck. Honk, honk. Now get on your radio. Good job, good buddy. Good job, good buddy. You did awesome. And buddies, I was glad that you were here learning with me.